Good morning everyone, welcome back to our chapel here at Blessed Robert Sutton and welcome back to the 1010 Assembly. Uh, this week our theme of the week is journey and we're going to be continuing um, on our journey uh, through the Stations of the Cross. So let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So as I said, this morning we are once again going to be going through our Stations of the Cross. Last week, you might remember that we did stations one to four, and we ended with Jesus meeting his mother, Mary. This week, we're going to be doing stations five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and as we go through those, I want you to think about the journey which Jesus made, because as I said before, this week, our theme of the week is journey. And so as we begin, I just want to remind you of the four stations which we did last week. The first one was Jesus being condemned to death. The second, Jesus carrying his cross. The third, Jesus fell over for the first time. And the fourth was Jesus meeting his mother Mary. The fifth station of the cross. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. Jesus continues to struggle. The soldiers, keen to ensure that Jesus doesn't die on the journey, pull a man from the crowd and force him to help Jesus with his burden. Simon was probably just there to see what was happening, and yet he is dragged into the centre of the event. Imagine you are Simon. How would you feel being forced to help Jesus? Who are the people in your life who help you when things are difficult? And who needs your help and assistance today? The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. In the midst of his suffering, Jesus is met with compassion and love. Veronica cannot take away the burden. She cannot stop the torture or prevent his death, but she can offer comfort. As she lovingly wipes Jesus' face, she shows the crowd how they should have treated Jesus, instead of the brutal way they chose. Imagine you are Jesus as Veronica wipes your face. How does it make you feel? Who brings you comfort in times of difficulty? When others are struggling, how do you comfort them? The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. The comfort of Veronica and the support of Simon cannot remove Jesus' suffering and difficulty. He stumbles and falls for a second time. Still, the soldiers insist that he continues. No more help is coming. The pain only increases. But Jesus knows that this is part of God's plan. Imagine you're a soldier, forcing Jesus to carry on. Are you sympathetic? Do you want to help him? We all stumble and fall throughout life sometimes. But God's love endures for it all. Remember, he is always waiting to show you love. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. Jesus tells the women he meets not to cry for him, but to cry for themselves. Jesus knows that he must die, and he knows he must die to save humanity, to allow humanity to join God in heaven. The sins of those who cry for him have made his death inevitable. Jesus, even in his suffering, attempts to improve and change the world. Imagine you are one of the women. How did Jesus' words impact you? Jesus calls us to renounce sin, to turn away from evil, and to turn our lives towards the great plan God has laid out for us. How can you do that today? The ninth station, Jesus falls for a third time. The journey is nearly at its conclusion. Jesus has climbed through the city towards the place where he will be murdered, but his struggle is not at an end. The wood weighs heavy on his shoulders, cutting into his skin. Once more, Jesus stumbles and falls, the pain of his ordeal is too much to bear, but still the soldiers force him on. His suffering is not over, and he must complete his journey. Jesus pushes on, trusting that this is part of God's plan. Imagine you are Jesus. How do you feel as you fall? Do you trust that this is part of God's plan? Jesus followed God's plan because he knew it was necessary. Do you always trust that God has a plan for you? Wonderful. I hope you had the opportunity to reflect as a class on these stations of the cross and think about the journey which Jesus made for all of us 2,000 years ago. This week, as I said, I think the week is journey. And just like Jesus has been on a journey in the, what the stations of the cross we're going through, you might have heard the expression before that life is a journey. And that's because everyone's lives are slightly different. We all do go through different things at different times, but we all have the same beginning and we all have the same end. This week, we're going to be thinking about our own journeys through life where we can help others in our journey and where other people can help us. And we're going to enter a time of prayer to reflect on that. So I invite you to take a deep breath in 
and just acknowledge God's presence in the room and feel him in your heart. Firstly this morning, I'd like to think about where are the challenges in your journey at the moment and who can help you with those? Secondly, we're going to be thinking about other people in our lives and challenges which they might be going through on their journey. How can we help them this week? And finally, I'm going to invite you into a time of open prayer. So teachers, you might want to pause the video here and give people the opportunity to share any prayers that they have for this week. It's really important to remember that even if these prayers aren't said out loud, we don't get the opportunity to say them out loud, God still hears what is in our heart and those people will still be prayed for today. It's also important to remember that those challenges in our journey we spoke about earlier, when we share those with God, he carries them with us and he walks with us because he loves us. And remembering that this week we are learning from Jesus' journey, we're going to join all of our prayers together from across our school as we say the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Awesome guys, your mission this week is when you're doing your daily mile uh, to try and have a chat with someone new about this assembly and about the stations of the cross that we've walked through and have a chat about Jesus' journey and how it made you feel and how you think Jesus would have felt in the moment. And when you've had these discussions, it might be nice to find a place in your class where you can write the words and, um, or the feelings that you think Jesus would have been feeling uh, to share with each other uh, the wonderful things I'm sure you'll be thinking of to, uh, over the next week. But for now, guys, that is it from me. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'm really excited to see some of you later this week. Um, but let's end with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye.